My name is John Conroy, and I am a journalist at heart and, and a journalist by trade. I worked for the Chicago Reader for almost 30 years and covered the John Burge story uh, for almost 20. And now I've written a play called My Kind of Town, which examines the John Burge scandal, the Chicago police torture scandal. And it, and it tells the story of how this happened and why it happened for so long and why we have 20 men still in jail on the basis of suspect confessions and why only one man has been indicted after 35 years. The torture began in the early 70s. And this wasn't just a few cops slapping suspects around or something like that. This was third world quality torture, electric shock, uh, suffocating people with plastic bags, uh, pushing them against hot radiators. Uh, they were inflicting severe pain that would cause almost anybody to confess. So even though there was ample evidence that men were tortured, and that included medical evidence, it included testimony from victims, it included testimony from people who'd heard the torture. Um, nonetheless, the torture continued. And by early 1990, there were a dozen men on death row on the basis of suspect confessions and others serving very lengthy terms. And today, it's now 2010, uh, one man, John Burge, has been indicted, not for the torture, because the statute of limitations has now run on those offenses, but for lying about the torture. So he has been indicted for obstruction of justice and perjury in his testimony in civil suits. While the Chicago police torture scandal has been widely reported in the media, the human dimension hasn't come across the way this play brings it across. The fact is that torture poisoned the body politic. That's what this play shows. What's fantastic about this play is that there's family on all sides, right? The black kid who gets pulled in, who's tortured, has parents. And we see, while the black kid's in prison, what his parents are going through and how they're struggling um, with the loss of their son, with their inability to help him. I think one of the things that John has done really beautifully in this play is he's really focused uh, on the periphery, on what's happening around uh, the events and how those are actually as much a part of uh, the story as the actual torture or um, the actual imprisonment. I think the advantage of telling this story as a play is that there's no torture that takes place on the stage here, but the agony of the participants comes through, and the casualness of the torture comes through, and the um, indifference of the community comes through. So that's what I want people to feel and to think about when they leave. And I think in some ways theater is the best place for this. Um, you don't get that kind of reaction often from journalism. And hence an attempt to tell the story on the stage.